Very hard training, always changing my routine, uh, intensifying my routine. You know, I want to win, I want to be the best, I want to be compared to the best. The ladies pimp, the women fight for my delight, but I'm the grand master with the three MCs that shock the house for the young ladies. And when you come inside into the front, you do the freak bank, and do the bump. And when the sucker MCs try to prove a point with Trent's trio, I win the serious joint from sun to sun and from day to day. I, I sit think down about my workout prior to the workout, you know, the morning before, the night before, I almost dream about the workout. And I try to always outdo my prior workout, you know, for instance, if I do uh, four sets of 500 uh, squats, and next time I'll try to do five sets of uh, uh, 500. You know, I always try to beat the last workout. And that's my goal, you know, beat the last workout, outdo the last workout, outdo the other competitor, you know. I'm just a very competitive person. I love it. Do it, I go do it, do it, do it. And I'm here, and I'm there. I'm Big Bang Hank, I'm everywhere. I just throw your hands up in the air and party harder like you just don't care. Let's do it. I don't stop, y'all. I take a talk, y'all. You don't stop. I go home, tell. I have been going for the past five years looking for a good training partner, which I've had a few here and there, you know, but they tend to burn out, you know. <laughs> I, I train very, very hard, you know, and they just don't last, you know. I've trained with Lee Haney and I've trained with almost everybody, brother, you can uh, imagine. The difference between me and Lee Haney is uh, I am a lot more aggressive than him. He is a genetic freak. Whatever he does, he will grow, you know. We trained together uh, five or six times, you know, and it just didn't quite click. Uh, I wanted him to do extra four or five reps, and he wouldn't do it, you know. And I'm that type, I'm that type of person. You know, I need that extra four or five reps. I need somebody to yell at me. I need somebody to push me. Ah! So, don't count. Get it, Come on. Two. Three, stretch. Yeah. Four. Five. Tell me, help me. Seven. Let's go. Eight. Nine. To find a good training partner clicks is very, very hot. And thank God I got one this time. Luis Fridas, he's from Brazil. He's a becoming bodybuilder. He placed uh, eighth or ninth in the universe this year. And he's a big kid, very symmetrical, very good looking, uh, trains like an animal, just like me. And, uh, and we really, uh, we have this special magic together, you know. I mean, uh, he wants it just as bad as me. And we just really click together. I'm very happy with him. Stretch, stretch. Five more. One. And two. Three. Track the back, right here. Four. Come on! Five. A good training partner, I tell you, what it is, is you have to have somebody that you can listen to. You know, like when they say five more reps, you can do it. Just anybody can't tell me five more reps. You know, it takes a certain type of voice, a certain type of person for me to listen to. That's why I can't just train with anybody. Okay, five more, and one, and two. You know, I have to see something, and I, I have to see that he will do five more if I tell him, you know, and he is able to do it, you know. So that's one thing, the magic I feel between me and him. He wants it just as bad as me. We're both young, hungry lions. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come on, Mike. Yeah, keep squeezing. Come on. Five more, let's go. Yeah. 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 The hip 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 do some bicep, tricep, shoulder, shoulders. That's it. 
like two cents each. That's just preparation. I truly enjoy training. It's a very aggressive at it, atmosphere here, very competitive. And we got a lot of uh, big guys here, you know. I need that around me, strong big guys, you know. At World Gym, it's a bit different. It's a little more relaxed, you know, and it's a little smaller. I need a big gym with big guys around me. <laughs> I see a lot of the young bodybuilders today, especially in Gold's Gym, they try to lift heavy, heavy weights, you know. They see me, Charles Glass, the Barbarians, and they try to lift the same weight, and the form is nowhere near as good as ours, you know. They're just trying to get it up just to say they lifted 500-pound bench press, you know. So um, that's one thing I do when, when I train people. I do that for a living, and I, do, I really stress form. Because what you do is, if you use good form, the weights will increase. It just takes time. You start off with good form on 85-pound curl, and you go from 95 in six weeks or whatever. Same with the bench press, the incline uh, press, squats, everything. Good form, and your weight will go up. It just takes time. Because it isn't the weight. It's the form and intensity that builds the muscle mass. When I'm on stage and when I'm posing against Rich Gaspar, Lee Haney, Albert Beckles, I'm very aggressive. I want to win, you know, I want to show the other competitors and the judges and the people in the audience that I am the best. Lee cannot get much bigger than he is now. Lee, Gaspari, Beckles, all of the top five, all of the top ten. I am the only competitor that can really put more muscle on his frame because my frame is taller and bigger than the other competitors. I'm the tallest competitor. So what I have to do is I have to keep on putting more muscle on, which I do. Every year I put six to eight pounds of muscle on, you know, which is phenomenal. Not too many bodybuilders do do this. It's just a matter of time for me, and I think this year is the time. Watch out, Lee. Is it possible that you're underestimating some of the other people? I mean, after all, Rich Gaspari is very good. Albert, Albert Beckles, Beckles is very good. Yeah. Uh, do, don't you have to keep them in mind as well, well of course, as Lee? Of course. You know, I don't... Lee Haney's the man to beat, no question about that. But of course, I see Albert Beckles and Rich Gaspari haven't beat them yet either, you know? So, uh, no, no, I'm just... All competitors are equal, you know? I just... I go for number one, you know? That's true. If you finish first, you beat everybody. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Well, listen, good luck in the Olympia. Thank you, Bill. Okay. We'll take it. My Christian is one of the mascots here at Gold's Gym. Are you a little disappointed he won't be there? Yeah, I am, because I really thought Mike could win it. I really did. And it's not because he's, you know, he's one of the homeboys. Hey, they asked me, why didn't you go on Olympia this year? I said, I had to work legs today. I can't miss a leg day. They say I have weak legs, I can't miss a leg day. What the hell? Come on, come on, come on, come on, up That's it, that's it, come on, everybody got it. Everybody got it, there you go, there you go, yeah. This is easy for you, man, come on. Push it, good, beautiful. Come on, man, don't quit on me now. 
Gotta work a little harder than the other guy, nigga. A little harder. Come on, that's it. Five. That's it. Now you want it. Six. Come on. Seven again. Five. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Easy. There you go. Three. Come on, Mike. Dig deep. Dig deep. Go a little further, man. Come on. A little further, Mike. Go past it. Come on. That's it. Everything. There you go. Give me another one. Give me another one. You want it. This is first place right here. That's it. Beautiful. Real nice. Really nice. That's the leg workout. Mike, it's easy to see who wears the pants in your family, so to speak. What got you to design these big-legged drawers? Well, I was wearing some uh, other sweatpants that were very uncomfortable. The crotch was a little bit high. It fit very tight on guys with big thighs. Your thighs were very tight and uncomfortable. So I wanted to design some uh, clothing wear that was very comfortable and uh, looked uh, different, crazy, wild, creative, part of my Christian show the world up. Uh, Instead of me asking you to drop your pants, Mike, how about just showing me some? <laughs> well, here's some of my uh, wild and crazy, crazy creative colors. These are called the block. They're neon colors and very wild. Uh, they show the maps, and it's got like maps of the world. Indian tan here. I'm very happy, I'm very content now. Even though I am a bit depressed that I'm not going into conscious. The conscious is two days away, and I'm starting to get a little depressed. But I think if my company's doing well, my family life is, is doing very well, and that's the important thing right now. Like I said, I have all my life to win Mr. Olympia, and I think I have what it takes to win the title. I'm very confident, I'm very secure, and I think security is the foundation before you can just go out and just go into a competition. You know, you have to have your mind and uh, mentally be prepared for it. So that's what I'm working on now, and uh, next year I plan on taking that title. I really believe I can take it. Whoever wins that title, Samir, Lee Haney, Bob Paris, uh, you know, Sean Ray or whoever. But some people believe you could have done it this year, and the reason you dropped out is after you saw Samir Banut's condition. Oh, wow, I've never heard that. Uh, Samir is looking very well, but he never worried me at all. Samir is five foot eight. I'm six one. I think that answers the question. You got it. He'll be here next year. I'm gonna blow him away. I want you guys to get that. Make sure you get that on the camera. Mike Christian is my meat next year. I'll get him next year. Watch it in Italy. Where's Lee Haney? Where? Watch, watch it in Italy. Italy. Watch him in Italy. Mike Christian, where is he? Where is he? He's selling real tickets. I'm gonna kill him in Italy. I was great in '88. It'll be mine in '89. Mike, the Iron Warrior Christian, is the biggest man in the sport and the greatest threat to Lee Haney. With 15 years in the game, the last five as a pro, he's giving Mr. Olympia one last try. Down more. That's it. Come on. 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 As the owner of an international sports fashion design company, Christian has enough muscle in his bank balance not to worry about prize money. The lure of the Mr. Olympia title alone drives him on. confident going into the show. I competed in Arnold Classic back in March. First drug tested men professional show. Took second. Now my body's adjusted to training without anabolic steroids. Putting it together. So we'll see come March, I mean September 15th. Will Haney take a seven minute roll? Or will Christian say no? I can handle it. <laughs> right, away we go. Home games. <laughs>
did you move out here especially to be in the sort of you know the muscle mecca yes i did yes yes i did i moved out here it's been almost uh eight years and i came from uh, portland oregon you know that's where i started bodybuilding at back in 77 and i won everything that i could possibly win up there and it was time to move to california and uh run with the big boys yeah. and uh, the first year didn't do quite well Diane at all <laughs> <laughs> I got a bit discouraged and I quit for about nine months after that I got a lot of encouragement from uh, the people at Gold's Gym Tim Kimber and uh, Pete Gromkowski also Weeder encouraged me to get back into the sport so I entered my first contest back in um, 80 and I was USA and I took fourth in that after training six weeks and just kept on a roll and won the America in 84 the University in 84 and uh Turn pro in 85. Yeah. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. That's it. Three more, Mike. Come on, pump it out, pump it out. Come on, Mike. Yeah. Come on. Mike, Mike, Mike. All right, Mike. Good luck. Squeeze it. Exactly. Exactly, Mike. All the way in. Squeeze it in, Mike. Take your time, take your time. Take your time. Don't rush it. Don't rush it, Mike. Bicep, come on. Bicep, Mike, bicep. Yes. Yeah. Hey,